Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Brian. Uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with the second mystery box opening. Uh, two things before I get into this. Number one, I will not be as long-winded as I was in the last unboxing. Uh, that, was, that was a really long video. Um, and number two, I will be more organized. I had piles of cards everywhere and uh, it, was, it was just kind of a mess. So I will not do that this time, or at least give him my best effort. So without further ado, um, here's the uh, the mystery box. So, ta-da! So, everybody's favorite set to hate. Um, I think everybody kind of uh, celebrated when this rotated out of standard. Uh, it has its fans, which I am one of them. It took me actually took me a while to um, start appreciating it, but once I started getting into it, it kind of has it has its charms, even though it's uh, super super overpowered. So, and the cool thing about these boxes is that they are not very expensive. Um, to put things in perspective, uh, the last box that I opened. Uh, there's about a dollar in difference between the two, which is crazy to think about. Especially considering uh, how many powerful cards, or how many um, expensive cards are in here. Like the Great Hand is obviously the heavy hitter, like $40, $44. But you also got Oko, you've got Embercleave. Uh, Fabled Passage, Brazen Borrower, um, Questing Beast, uh, just all sorts of good, good value here. Oh, I forgot these are tough to open. It's been a while. 